Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm giving you a book review by Heidi Duro and it is The Girl Who Fell From The Sky. This is a fiction novel and it is also a novel by a woman of color. Um, I've never actually read anything from this author before. As you probably saw if you watched my TBR um, book haul that this was one of the books that I wanted to read. Um, and I didn't really know too much about just that it had pretty good re reviews and that it won an NAACP award and I was really, really interested into it. Basically, the book is about a young girl, um, Rachel, who is a biracial daughter of two absentee parents. One of the parents is absent because her mother died and we know her mother died in some kind of tragic way but we don't really know the details as to why until the end of the book um, and a lot of it surrounding basically like what happened to her mother like what really happened and what happened to her family essentially um, but she's now because of this uh, event basically stripped from her mother um, because her mother has passed and now is living with her grandmother but her grandmother on her father's side so she was raised by her mother who was white and she's now thrust into basically black life and we're following her kind of growing up kind of um struggling with the loss of her mother trying to figure out who she exactly is and dealing with racial identity and where exactly she fits in so um there were a lot of things about the book that i did like but there were a lot of things that i didn't really like um if i was to be honest i would give this more so of a two and a half star and that it's always hard when you know books are highly raved about or like not saying this was highly raved about but it was very well received or won a lot of awards the reviews seemed very positive about it um but i would say on goodreads i gave it a three star um just because it's not a two star it's a good read but there were just many things about it that kind of bothered me um essentially this character rachel I think what bothered me most was her actually in the book. Um, you know, there's, it's just like she's so, I get that she's so confused and part of me, like I really wanted to get her perspe perspective. It's just she continuously made such poor decisions and not saying like, you know, everyone's perfect, but a lot of the decisions just didn't make sense. Even if they weren't good decisions, it's kind of like, where did you come up with that? Um, there were some really interesting lines though that do um, tackle basically like racial identity and like what that means. For the, from that aspect, I really appreciated it and that's what I think I connected with probably most. Um, even though it's not my story, I can definitely relate to it. Um, like, but some of the things also, another big part of the story is she has blue eyes. So I don't know if that was that big of, should have been that big of a focal point um but it was consistently brought up um and kind of i think is supposed to make you think of the bluest eyes but it really i don't know I'll, I'll just talk about some of the things that i highlighted within this book which were really profound and good quotes but also to better explain like my review of why i feel the way i do about this book okay so this is how we are introduced to the author not to the author i'm sorry this is how we are introduced to rachel kind of to kind of sum up how she views herself and how others view, view her. She said, I am light skinned. That's what the other kids say. And I talk white. I think new things when they say this. There are a lot of important things I didn't know about. I think more didn't know either. They tell me it is bad to have ashy knees. They say stay out of the rain so my hair doesn't go back. They say white people don't use wash rags. And I realize now at grandma's I do. They have a language I don't know, but I understand. I learned that black people don't have blue eyes. I learned that I am black. I have blue eyes. I put all these new facts into the new girl. And I thought like when you know, you're reading that, it seems like such an interesting character. And it, I felt like it drew me in because it was like, you know, I can't relate directly, but I think in some sense we're all like, you try to grapple with when you are something other, like if you are just not the, conventional what people think of when um you know those around you of everything that they like and everything that they do but there's something about you that makes you different you kind of grapple with okay if i'm black i'm supposed to x y z z that and that and i thought from her perspective of being someone who was who didn't even really consider herself biracial who, who didn't really think of race in that sense from losing your mother and now coming to this new identity of realizing okay that this is something like I have blue eyes that doesn't fit in this x y and z i did and it, i felt like i could 
follow her train of thought with that um and that would have to be like really weird to like recognize one day hey i am black but i'm not really black but i am black but da -da -da. so it's like you can tell she's caught into these um two wor worlds one thing that it's not that i didn't like it it was just a, like i'll read another excerpt so it's it goes further along and this is at first when we're introduced to her struggling with her identity it seems like a true struggle somewhere within the book it almost seems like a characterization of black people that i don't think is tr true Gr granted all black people are different but a lot of the things it's like people just because if you you can't become black by like listening to rap music or listening to certain like i don't know it just kind of made the black when i say black again this is where the book does a good job because that too is relative it kind of makes the people who are who completely identify as black and who are not considered biracial it makes them one-dimensional and it's hard to to resonate with it's hard for me to connect to a book that makes what i identify as one-dimensional so i get that giving rachel more development kind of made her seem probably more interesting but in the process you made kind of like the supporting characters around her one dimensional which didn't capture their true identity so it makes me question if the author really knows black people like knows people who identify as completely black but this is my perspective again i could be biased in this um but it was just an awkward i don't know it was just an awkward thing so she really has this thing with her aunt who she thinks her aunt is gorgeous and there's an expert excerpt in here she says also black women are not as pretty as white women there are exceptions aunt loretta miss america but not many and you know it kind of keeps going on to how white people view black people and all this other stuff and i don't know it's just kind of like a almost like a played out topic to me in the sense of i don't really want to hear how white people view how do you how do you view and how are you coming to terms with all of this was kind of like my feelings throughout um, okay so there's another guy that comes from her childhood that we get some interesting dialogue between the two of them which kind of shows the nuances that i appreciated that kind of um kind of show that out on how we classify people and what is race really because technically race is kind of made up um you know it was just something that was used to distinguish white supremacy almost um so in that aspect even though it doesn't go that deep in the book i do appreciate kind of this dialogue there's a situation where she's talking to one of her friends and it's like what are you she asks, and he's like what do you mean you're from chicago but what are you like black or like me he's like oh i'm black regular he said regular like he was describing coffee without milk normal he said amending his answer just black and she's like i didn't mean and he's like it's okay um trying to make out whatever edge he had in his words i don't mind really do you think people would ask you that if you didn't have your mother's eyes because she has blue eyes and stuff like that so part of that is kind of like distinguishing like anytime she encounters someone who's light skin light skin which she learned that she is she's trying to figure out if they're biracial or if they're black and by black meaning if they somehow identify with just their black side and it's kind of confusing and it's interesting to go from someone who has no construct of understanding what race is like the different races and trying to grapple with what exactly i am and how in relation to other people like if someone's my skin complexion are we the same thing so in those aspects it was great but then it also has to deal with somehow she starts making poor decisions and guys where she's like dating people who she's not dating they can't take her out in public so she's only hooking up with them behind the scenes and we learn what happens to her mother and it's like the story starts off so strong but towards the end it doesn't tie out and it almost seemed rushed it seemed like this was an idea that was thought of in the beginning but the author didn't really know how to finish the story so we just make all these random stuff start happening to characters that we actually start that actually do like and then we kind of just leave it with oh yeah by the way this is what kind of happened to her mom and see so i don't know i would be so interested to hearing your thoughts like if you've read this book please let me know like what did you think reading the book 
I liked it, but I don't think I could recommend it. Like, that's kind of how I feel. I feel like I gave it a C if we were in grade school. Um, but please subscribe for regular videos yeah. I post weekly. And let me know below what your thoughts were on this book. If you read this book, did you like it? What were your thoughts? Am I alone in this? Um, did you grab something else that maybe I'm missing from this? I would just like to have a discussion about it. Anyways, love and light, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.